Growing food is, I think, quintessential to our society and working towards a sustainable future. My name is Wade, I'm 24, and I'm a chef and a business entrepreneur. The idea of Food Karma started um, almost exactly a year ago, and we, we started with nothing, basically. We went out and we decided we were gonna make this happen, so we started promoting ourselves through events. We went out on the streets and we started um, offering pies for donations. Um, we put together promotional events through UNM, through Roadrunner Food Bank, um, to raise funds and just to just to donate our time and food to get our name out there. Um, we've completed 22 weekend markets of the downtown growers market this past summer, um, serving our food and making connections with the local community. Um, and we're going to continue to do catering events and to do volunteer events um, to continue continue our mission as Food Karma. Hey. I mean, our mission with Food Karma is to give regardless of what we receive. And it's it's simple, it's grow the food, cook the food, eat the food, share the food. You can look at sustainability as a, a future problem or something that's you know down the road that we have to figure out. But if you think about it, you know, truly being sustainable means, you know, in this moment, taking care of everyone around us in our communities, taking care of everybody right now, because it's not just about trying to, um, you know, help future generations, but there's, there's people in need right now. So what we try to do with Food Karma is have no judgments, and we try, we try to give everyone the same opportunity to the food. Um, same opportunity to the nutrition, the food security. You can come and eat and we're not going to judge. It's anonymous how much you pay, um, but no matter, no matter how much or how little you have, you still need to eat and you still need to be nourished and taken care of and feel like somebody's there to offer that and to care. Johnny's Garden is a family farm. Um, it was started by my mother and my stepdad. Uh, it's in Albuquerque's South Valley. They produce um, tomatoes, uh, a lot of greens, corn. Um, they have multiple fruit trees. Um, so what we're doing through Johnny's Garden is we're trying to collaborate together, saying how can we how can we use these ingredients that they're not necessarily able to market um, due to their busy schedule. So how can we how can we co-support each other? By, by working together all the time. I mean, if you have a serious goal that you want to reach, it's it's constantly on your mind, and that's how you're gonna get there. Um, and you know, there's there's days when I when we come back from a, a market and we we didn't necessarily um, save as much from our profits at the market as we wanted to, but there's there's a reward from. You know, serving someone food and them coming back and saying, you know, that was the best breakfast burrito I've had in years, or that was the best omelet I've ever had. And that personal satisfaction, that personal reward that, that your skills are going towards something that matters, something that's that's helping support somebody, that's, that's what really makes it worth it at the end of the day. Um, and I think, you know, I think any goal can can align with that sort of that sort of ideal that, that if something feels like it's worth your time and you're willing to put in the effort for reaching your goal then it's it's doable.